team are building right now consists of tapping into things such as knowledge of self, um, the importance of divine energy and our direct connect to the most high and um, love itself because I know that you know we live in a time where people be quick to say fuck love you know what I'm saying they rather have loyalty over love but loyalty was birthed by love and love is all there is. Love is acceptance. Love is God. And to know God and to know love is to know and to have acceptance. So yeah, we want people to be familiar with that. And you know, as far as me ministering, this isn't no overnight thing or something that is an ideal of me. This is definitely the authentic me because I've always been preaching, teaching, and speaking truth since a kid. That's what I do even when I was doing rap music, even if I was on my trap or street music, it was still the same. I was ministering, you know, and um, I've always had a passion to uplift people and to bring out the best in people. But really, you're supposed to be able to meditate and stop your mind from thinking. You get what I'm saying? It be taught backwards though. But that's why a lot of people be saying they can't, they can't really meditate because their mind be wandering too much and going to other places. But that's the only way you're going to get the meditation. That's why people be saying go within, even though it sounds like a little slow or whatever, that's like really the truth. Like you really got to go inside yourself, even if you don't know what you really consist of. But that's why all your bliss is that. Being in this field of ministry has been on my mind for a very long time. Anybody that really know me know that I've been battling with the street life and the spiritual life for a very long time. And you know, I understand I'm a Gemini, I'm a uh, life path three. So the creative levels of the, the dark side and the light side exist in me heavy. But along my journey, I realized that I needed to find balance. I needed to find purpose and I needed true uh, understanding of myself. And once I tapped in, you know, I started to venture out a little bit. Like, I got my uh, certification as a minister in 2014. And in 2020, I got my uh, certifications and credentials as a uh, doctor of divinity uh, in the metaphysical field and as a Reiki healer. So, I've been dedicating my time. I've been doing the research. Um, I've been doing the work. Um, I've been taking the classes. I've been doing everything in my power to um, make sure I know what I'm talking about, make sure I know how to and what to reference to when speaking and deciding on the things that I feel like are necessary um, to help people grow and versus just talking a whole lot of blah, blah, rah, rah without being able to back nothing up. All right, so Saturn is the planet of responsibility and it symbolizes the ethic of hard work. Under its influence, a person's character is strengthened through trial and difficulty. It has been said that Saturn disciplined us until we can learn to discipline ourselves. In astrology, Saturn is the planet of diligence, self-control, and limitation. Now, a lot of people have said that's where they got Saturn and Satan from the same etymology because Saturn pretty much tests you. You know how people be like, God test you. Then you got other people that be like, God don't test you. Well, just like you got people that say, God exists and the devil exists. In reality, when you learn how everything works, God and the devil is one and the same. That's why they say the, the devil can't test you without God's permission. He can't work without God, period. Because they work hand in hand. But that would be the part of God that tests you, that discipline you, that keep on smacking you in the face until you wake up and be like, you know what, I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. And then from there, he can kind of fall back, get off your shoulders a little bit. Now with Jupiter, that's why Jupiter is like, Jupiter really like one of the best planets we got, you know what I'm saying? Because it's all about good luck, optimism, success, and generosity. Jupiter brings joy to life. Jupiter is identified with the ideal of expansiveness and abundance. Jupiter is also the greater fortune. 
meaning more blessings come from Jupiter influence, and the lesser the lesser fortune comes from Venus. People always ask me, well, if you always wanted to minister, what took you so long? And I always tell people, I never wanted to play with God. I never wanted to be a phony preacher. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never, I ain't want to be wishy-washy in my ways. I ain't want to teach and preach one thing and do something else. But I did want to test the waters. I did want to jump out there and I did want to get a taste of that experience to know if that was something that I really wanted to do. And when I realized that it was something that I really wanted to do, then over the years I realized that I had to do some self-healing, some self-reevaluating, some self-growth, like, and have self-talks because it was things about me that I had to change. There was no way that I could still do certain things and be in alignment with my true calling or purpose. So I had to make those sacrifices. Right now, look, health, happiness, wealth, power, higher learning, breadth of vision, honesty, optimism, and high position. December 21st, 2020, during the Jupiter and Saturn conjunction period, that was one of those times when the Most High really, really spoke to me and pushed me to put people up on game on the importance of what was going on within our universe. Um, a, lot, a few people came out to support, which is what's going on within the video that was during that time. And um, it was a time for myself when I realized if I don't do what I'm supposed to do, I'm gonna perish. Because I know what my purpose is, so it's a must that I be responsible for that accountability. That's how I realized that I needed to tap in more and cut some people off, cut some places off, and go about things differently. But it's really one and the same. So you got discipline and you got good luck and blessings coming together at one. So it's like at this point, nobody has no excuse for why they ain't tapping into their purpose. You feel what I'm saying? It's like you're gonna get affected by all the energies around you and the universe and the planets itself that's gonna either awake you or show you that you're not as awake as you think you are. And then you're gonna have to tap in. So then once you tap in, like some of us that's already tapped in, we got a great accountability now because we know better. Like, that's just like, I can't be out here teaching people shit but then doing shit, knowing I know better. Like, it was a point where that was cool. God let you do that for a little minute, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, go ahead. But now it's time to, you know what I mean? Or this gonna happen. That's why people be perishing sometimes and we don't be understanding why, because they time be up. And we be sitting back like, well, I, was, oh, I can't believe that happened to them. But the guy who was like, man, y'all don't know how many times I showed them what they supposed to be doing. Or how many times they came to me and said, I done gave this up, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. After a while, God be like, man, you playing. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to start over. I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna be one of those people that say put you in hell or just bottom of pit and all that. Nah, I mean, you just gotta start over from scratch. Same way you do in school. Same way you do when you lose a job. Men implement the way God works. You feel me? So all that promotion, getting fired, repeating, that comes from the way the universe works. You do the same thing, just on a greater scale. Same thing. So, yeah. So with that energy right there, you gotta tap into your higher self. So, you really ain't got no choice unless you just want to, you know what I mean, act like how they say Lucifer act, break yourself off of harmony and be like, hey, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And you're gonna reap what you sow that way. And I mean, that's on you. Some people like the dark side, you know what I'm saying? I know I do, but that's why they say you gotta find balance. You got to. All right, so this is what we're gonna talk about. This is two time is All right, we got time. Feminine energy is chaos, okay? If feminine energy is actually darkness, and masculine energy is born. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like that's why the sun and the moon is the way it is. The moon represents the feminine why energy. The, mm -hmm. the scriptures became male order because once they found out that principle, they kind of ran with it. Even though you still should recognize the feminine, divine, feminine, and the most high as well. Right. Well, put the icing on the cake for me though. Is when I lost my close friend that I call my brother, Buster. The fact that I knew what he was dealing with, what he was going through, how he felt, 
how he got to that point and what he was contemplating. And when I got a chance to talk to him, I thought that I said enough and I was there for him enough because I had talked to him two times before, you know, he took his life or whatever. But the conversations was deep, they was intense, they was honest, they was pure. And he said he was gonna pull up on me that following Sunday and it never happened. And I just know in my heart that if I would've talked to him, I would've saved him. But also, with my brother and with other people that I've dealt with and be cool with, whether they be family, friends, ex-lovers, I've been known to cause conviction in people. It's not no, it's never no this versus this. It's really like masculine and feminine meeting and becoming one. Even with anything else that you can think of that they done made go against each other. In reality, it's all one. Every single thing is all one. But the misconception of duality is what got people screwed up. And that's where it started with us, men and women, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and then from there, it just go from sports to everything else. But everything in the world is based on duality. Start naming the two different things. Yeah, the um, and it's Jewish. Um, yeah, but well, see, all those symbols come from ancient Egypt before they even bring into exactly. anything else, and all that represents is man and woman becoming one. You know what I'm saying? That's sure. it. Yeah, that's why when you see the bathroom, sometimes if you don't see the man or the woman, you see the symbol. They be like this. Yeah. Which um, represents yeah. and then Gucci print. I learned that sometimes people don't want to be fixed. People don't want to be better. People don't want to do better. Especially after they felt like they've done better or tried to do better and was taken for granted or was shot down or was still made to feel like their change was nothing. And then you realize that some people make changes for other people and not themselves. And that hurts too. And then you got those who make changes to better themselves and lose the people that they love in the process. During the time of Buster's death, I was going through a lot. And people that supposed to have been in my corner was not. And distracting me with other things during the time of grief for me. I realized how people are putting love on the back burner. Um, how people are putting source energy on the back burner. How people are freely doing whatever they want because they feel like that's the new wave. We do got free will, but there is a such thing as abomination. You know? We can tap in to the dark side, but everybody know that light is everything. We can hate whoever we want, but we know that love brings better results. And it's like no matter how much we know that higher vibration is the best location, most of us still choose the lower destination. And when you try to correct people, they feel like you're trying to belittle them. When you give people professional criticism, they feel like you're hating on them. When you show people a better way, they feel like it's a problem with how they're already doing something. The whole being, yeah. And then you can put the five, the uh, five point star in, in the mix of it too. And that's that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah it's all the everything. Everything you look at, every shape that we got, everything in existence. Boy, X marks the spot, yeah, that's a whole nother episode right now. Okay. But yeah. Well, how many more of these classes you plan on having? Well, I'm finna start having them a lot. This is just the beginning. I'm gonna get on the one with the Bible. That's, that's the oh, yeah, I got that coming too. I took that religion class at Greenville Tech, like, in 2017. Mm -hmm. I it. And it, it messed me all up. My homegirl ever told me it would because it's like basically told me a lot in church, you know. I'm but let me tell you something else they do too. Complete lies. Uh, we had to take religion classes for the ministry. Listen, <laughs> that book ain't nothing but stories. And old stories represent 
reality. And the turtle, you know the story of the turtle and the hare? Yeah. That represents the sun and the moon. How one moves fast and how the other one moves slow. Yeah. But they still move at the same speed. Yeah. Come on now. Like they said, the book of Job is an ancient Chinese folklore. Mmm, I can see that. No, I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> nah, for real though. Yeah. Hmm. One thing for sure. No matter what you believe in, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter how you treat people and no matter how people treat you, God is going to always be God. And that's the G-O-D, Generator, Operator, and Destroyer. The Most High, they sit in the highest place on the highest level of frequencies. Yeah, Source Energy, the plug to everything. Yeah. So can't nobody convince me of man laws when one is tapped in the universal law. See when people learn when, when people learn about universal laws, they gonna realize how important responsibility and accountability is. You can't be blaming people. You your own devil. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? By ten thirty we gotta we gotta get this meditation. Alright, so I'm finna talk about the laws of the universe. How many of y'all know about the laws of the universe? Alright, so everybody know about man laws, but don't nobody know about the laws of the universe. That's the most important. The laws of the the laws, the life of ugh, the life on earth is balanced perfectly by natural laws. Manifesting these laws will manifest ma mastery on the physical level. So, y'all gotta write these down. Now y'all ain't gotta write down what it do, because some of these got some paragraphs, but I'll take my time and see how I can get as much as y'all can. We read. I mean, I, 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 I don't mind doing that. I can't do it tonight, though. Yeah, I know, right? All right, so it's 14 of them. Universal. Yeah, laws of the universe. And they really important because we govern by these laws, whether we consciously know it or not. I want to help y'all understand a little bit more. So the law number one is law of divine oneness. I'm gonna go ahead and just tell y'all about the law as y'all write them down that way y'all can put them together. So the law of divine oneness basically states that everything is connected to everything else. So that's a law that can't nobody take. Everything is one, the good, the bad, the ugly, the up, the down, the left, the right, the life, the death, the male, the female, everything is one. That's the way source energy and creator made it on purpose. It applies to our thoughts, words, and feelings in the world. Sound thoughts are in its own vibration and frequency. Is that number two? Okay. No, that's number two. It's still number two. Law number three is law of action. This kind of like when the Bible say, you take one step, I take two. Like the universe be with you, but if you ain't doing that, it, it can't do that, you feel me? So it states that law of action must be applied to manifest anything on earth. We must engage in actions that support our thoughts, dreams, emotions, and words. We must engage in actions that support our thoughts, dreams, emotions, and words. Law of action states, I mean my bad, law of action must be applied to manifest anything on earth. We must engage in actions that support our thoughts, dreams, emotions, and words. You don't put nothing in the action, it ain't happening. I don't care how much you talk about it. I don't care if you sell out or not. Do good or not. You still gotta put some action into that thing. Support our dreams and words. Uh, support our thoughts, dreams, emotions and words I know this journey not gonna be easy but I'm cool with that cuz I don't want nothing that comes easy everything that I ever had to come to me easy in my life 
was filled with BS and it didn't serve me no good. But everything that I worked hard for paid off for me. So I see how these things work. So my level of attitude and gratitude is different. And that's why I'm not too prideful to say that I need help. And I trust that the Most High will send me those people who are in alignment with my frequency. So, it is what it is, as above, so below, and it is so. Alright, Law of Correspondence, that's number four. The Law of Correspondence says that the principles and laws of physics that govern the real world Hold up, Let's put a period after word. <laughs> it's the principles and laws of physics that govern the real world. I will be versatile and diverse in my teachings because I understand that it's a wide range of people out there with different beliefs, different backgrounds, different cultures, but they can hear the word. They can receive the message and they can see and feel light. So I know people are intelligent enough and vibrating high enough to tap in and recognize when they see themselves in a higher vibration. Cause we are all reflections of one another, regardless of what anyone else thinks. It is what it is. I want people to be aware of how the chakras within our body and energy field operate. I want people to know the importance of their birth chart, you know? I want people to know the importance of divine energy and our direct connection to the Most High. Anytime the chakra is blocked, it comes from a lack of rest and a lack of eating proper foods. What's the side effects of it? The bad, anything that come out of them too. Uh, body aches, anxiety. Uh, 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 diarrhea. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> for real. Fatigue. Yeah. This is the affirmation for it. See, I can say this every day to help that chakra. I am a divine being and I am safe, protected, and supported. I am a divine being, and I am safe, protected, and supported. The next chakra is your sacral chakra. It's orange. Your sacral. This is right above, right below your navel. That's your sixth chakra. And it sound is ooh. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's what? It's the second chakra, and it's orange, and its sound is ooh. It's the wound area. It's what connects us to others, our desires, intimacy, and emotions. It's what connects us to others, our desires, intimacy, and emotions. So whenever this chakra is blocked, you will know because you will have a disconnect with the with physical connection. Intimacy and others. Uh, intimacy and emotions. So anytime y'all be experiencing a problem with having sex or showing intimacy and anything like that, that's because this chakra is blocked. It causes a disconnect with physical connection, but it can be healed. It causes a lack of desire. It causes a lack of ability to experience pleasure, sexual problems, desperate need for approval, and feelings of shame and guilt. All of that comes from your sacral chakra being blocked. 
and the affirmation for this chakra. Somebody say, hold on. Oh, my bad. I'm trying to get through. Yeah, okay. All right. The affirmation for this chakra is I am creative, I am connected, and I am love. Number three, your solar plex chakra. It's yellow. And it sound is oh, oh okay. yeah, right. <laughs> and this represents oh. your diaphragm area, diaphragm area, huh? The difference between the sacral and the uh, stone plexus now? The sacral is on um, your wound area. I mean the sound. Oh, the sound is ooh. And this is old. Ooh, oh, this is where our personal power lies. This is where you get to saying, trust your good or trust your instinct, trust yourself. It is where strong willpower comes from. Blockages on this is digestion problems, lack of purpose, feeling like you need to control others or allowing others to control you. It also causes ulcers and rage. Allowing others to control you. Ulcers and rage. And the affirmation for this chakra is, I trust my own guidance and I'm excited to be on my path. I went through relationship, after relationship, after relationship. Still trying to walk in my calling, still trying to walk in my path, getting distracted, getting distracted. You know, I'm trying to build with friends, I'm trying to do business with friends, I'm trying to put them up on opportunities and you know, share ideas with them and people just was not moving. People did not see the vision. And as I continued to grow, I realized that what God has for you is for you.